Looking for the ultimate power boost? This deck combines Agent Venom to buff your deck, Silver Surfer to pump up your board, and Wiccan to supercharge your energy. Get ready for some explosive plays. This deck has the Agent Venom package, which also includes Iron Man and Mystique. Brood also works nicely with Agent Venom, and he is also the star of our Silver Surfer cards, including Storm for a little bit of control, Cosmo, who can be a very nice last turn play, Hope for a dash of extra energy, and Nocturne to give you some movable power. In this deck, Wiccan is all but guaranteed to go off if you've drawn him by turn four because of Domino and Quicksilver. No, 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 don't, don't show that clip. Quicksilver is actually good. He didn't see that coming. What I mean by that is Quicksilver actually keeps cards in your deck oddly enough, not oddly enough because he starts in your hand. But what that means is you are less likely to draw Iron Man and Mystique. Therefore, your Agent Venom is more likely to hit them. Don't ask me to explain it past that. <laughs> this deck can win with or without Surfer, thanks to the Agent Venom package and Iron Man. So let's get into some games. There is Quicksilver dashing into our hand and a early Agent Venom. We have Ack the Great and Surfer. Let's play with the very fast Quicksilver to the middle. They have eight cards in their deck. They have a high collection level. Good, so we might be looking at a Misery. Super flow on right on time. Fortunate. Get down to the Agent Venom. Like I said in the intro, because of both Quicksilver and Domino, you have a higher chance for both Mystique and Iron Man to be in the deck when your Agent Venom goes off. Maybe it is not a misery. Like and subscribe. There is the Iron Man. Let's get Hope down middle. Sure. Hope down middle. Next turn, if we draw into Wiccan, it's going to be Wiccan. Otherwise, it might just be a domino, but I'm going to have to see what I draw into because, I'm, of course, I'm not going to play Silver Surfer next turn. They are mulling over what they want to do. They just get down the demon. I mean, I guess it's just Brood. Brood here, another good hit. What is this left? Ooh, change the location. So is the middle going to be Beast? They don't have any tech in this deck, right? Snap. <laughs> Iron Man middle. They're going to have to go large. Probably right. So that would be where their hit monkey comes down. I can add 248 there, so I can get to 24. This might be a little dicey. They are not going to beast. I okay. Vibranium and Sage, which Sage is... Yeah. Huh? Huh? So I always lose left. So it's can they just get... Do they have a Shadow King? The sage, that Sage plays is weird. Everything's four over there. So this is just more points. I don't know, let's send it. What are you doing? Is it a Shadow King? Is it a monkey? It is a monkey and it's... Whew. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> We, we pulled it out. They did not draw well because they, in all likelihood, would have bounced their cards middle. They did not bounce this game, and this is a bounce deck that I played against. The Surfer was just enough, and of course we just murder middle. In hindsight, maybe Iron Man left 
would have been a better play. I could have covered more. But good first win. Next up is Valgrax. We have drawn our Mystique. We get the Quicksilver down right this time. Next turn, of course, is Domino. And then I go into Hope. I will play Domino Middle, because if I draw into Storm, I like to be able to play her on top of Domino. I will get Hope down here. And then Nocturne, I guess? I will go Agent Venom. This is going to be a retreat. Okay. We have Red Hulk too. That is why I went Agent Venom. <laughs> I don't have three cost cards here is the problem. Maybe I go big in Mojo? Yeah, let's do that. I tie middle if they move the Jeff there. There's the Red Hulk left. So they might think they're good left. If I play Mystique, that gets to eight. And then Surfer. So Surfer is plus two. So this is six and two. Eighteen. Wait, six plus two is eight, 16. So that's enough if they move the Jeff. If they don't, it's a tie. I'm gonna send it. So I just need to win tiebreaker and this, oh no, no of course I don't need to win tiebreaker. They play oh, yeah. two cards, so that could be Doom because six cost cards is discounted. That will be a problem if it is Doom, and it is not. The reason right here why I knew to play Mystique left is because with the Red Hulk coming down, players think that they are safe because that is a big card, right? 13 power, and they may think, eh, it's probably gonna go to 16, so they're just going to avoid the left lane. Clearly they are playing for Mojo World. So I'm just going to play hard for middle and the Red Hulk will solo left. This is why we have Agent Venom, Iron Man and Mystique in the deck to buff up regular Surfer. We only have a single three cost card on the board. <laughs> but, well, aside from Surfer. So Surfer is not... Listen, forgive me for not being able to count. Clearly math is not my strong suit. Math? How am I supposed to know that? I'm a beautiful, popular, rich kid. We do have two, three cost cards on the board in addition to Surfer. And that is just enough. Okay, next up we have Get Anything Good. The Quicksilver did not do his job of keeping Iron Man in my deck. This is a Destroy Gamer. I think I kill Gamma Lab. What are the odds? I definitely get down Agent Venom. And then... The, here is the Killmonger. They are going to kill Monger left in all likelihood. It is so tempting to play the Cosmo. I shall storm. Wind. The reason I opted to not play Cosmo is because Cosmo may have uses a little bit later, maybe even on this turn. What a game! Eight power Deadpool. Ugh. Yeah, I guess it is on this turn. Because maybe they're gonna try to do a Venom. But this is also a loss. Yeah, that, that's what this is. 
So there's the Deadpool. Oh, and Carnage. Okay. 2 4. It's actually not a loss if I can draw in to Surfer. I have a 1 in 4 chance. Okay. Well, there's that win. But they do have a 16 power Deadpool. Is this enough? What is this? 8? 32? Eh, sure, let's send it. You figure that most players are greedy and they will play their Deadpool middle. Oh, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't they didn't go the obvious route man yeah it's ggs very easy win thank you for getting rid of the deadpool into flooded that allowed me to escape without drawing into silver surfer so this game went according to the agent venom line which is of course very powerful and the, the reason why I like this sur sur silver bleh, the reason why I like this silver surfer deck is because I like decks with options because most silver surfer decks if you don't draw surfer you're just gone this deck can actually weather those storms when you don't draw into surfer and that is why it is a good and strong deck okay next up we have underscore no dur. Hmm. Washington DC is good for brood. I will get Quicksilver down middle. We are going up against Arisham. Ooh, scary stuff. No play on turn one. A crystal. I will go Domino into the unrevealed location. A Cassandra Nova. My broods are less good. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll just storm middle. And then it will probably, if I have priority, be Cosmo middle with the cards in my hand. Wind, aid my hand. These locations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These locations. Let's go with Agent Venom, I guess. Oh, Nocturne is a... Nocturne, I could mess with them. So let's go Agent Venom. They got a Mockingbird. There is the Brood. So I'm going to snap. I don't know if this is smart. Because I can play Brood. Oh, the Agent Venom just counteracted Cassandra Nova. I did not mention. So we actually have a decent path. We should be able to solo left. And then they just need a big card. Right is the only thing. But maybe I don't rip away. That is hilarious. Okay, so I'm not winning... I'm not winning middle. So in that case, I want a Cosmo here. Ugh. But then I don't have space for my broods. Let's go Nocturne. Opponent snapped. Brood. And hope. And then next turn... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Undo. What am I playing? Oh, I'm just playing two cards. Okay, hope. Brood and slide this over. I Did I do it? They, they went with the rip away tactic as well, and 
because I was just able, ish. Agent Venom coming through with the Brood. We were just always well positioned this match because my next turn, if I had a turn seven, I would have played Crystal into whatever this location was, De Deep Space, Dead Space, whatever it was. And then a Surfer Middle because I was always losing middle. They got their Eliath out of the way. They were afraid, I guess, of me. I don't know how they drew, but uh, we got eight cubes from an Eliath player. Okay, we are going up against Eliath. Panopticron, first location, eight cards in their deck on turn one. That means they have a normal deck. Arishem has, I don't know, 16, 20 cards, 20 something in the deck on turn one. Always lucky. Uh, Panopticron is good for Brood. Get Domino down to the unrevealed location. They have not played a card yet. We might be looking at a Hella. An Agent Venom. Let's get that down. I am waiting. I'm pretty well positioned. Especially with Panopticron, I am less reliant on Surfer. I keep the bonus, and this is a move deck. Whew. Oh, snap. Play Brood down here. Next turn, it is very tempting to play Cosmo. Because Iron Fist... Oh, they're going to yank it back now. Yeah, because they want to get power into Castle Blackstone, so this is a Ghost Spider. Yeah. Now, I do have priority. Oh, with uh, Iron Man and Mystique, I definitely get down Iron Man. Let us take away the bonus energy that they have. And then this is a Mystique and Cosmo last turn. This is a Mystique and Surfer? Can they really add that much power, right? I'm not even thinking this through. This might not be the right play. Maybe I should play Cosmo. Uh, right. But the Surfer gets a lot of points left. And this is a move deck. So if they leave the Vulture, it's... With the Surfer, I'm adding eight points. So that's a lot of points to overcome, right? And then now with the Surfer, this is the right play. With the Surfer, I'm really loading up left. So if they move this Vulture to a 21, I don't even feel like doing all this math, so I'm not going to. <laughs> so just, it's a lot of points. Two cards middle. I am Iron Man. What? What is this? Okay. Oh, by one. Oh, by one. Oh, that's rough. Oh. <laughs> is there a better... There isn't a better play I could have... They guessed right. They knew to avoid left. So ultimately, if I had played Mystique middle... Mystique is at 6, 8, 16 middle, and 12 left. Hmm. Boy. 
That's tough. They knew to they knew to load up Iron Man. I got outplayed here, just pure and simple. That that will happen. In hindsight, I wonder, wonder what collection level they are. 13? Okay, not super high, but clearly a very skilled player. Spreading out my power might have been the way to go, or in hindsight, it definitely was the way to go. But moving forward, that's something that I probably should consider. I loaded up in two lanes, but maybe spreading out the power, especially with Surfer coming down. That's 12 left, and then I'm getting 16 power middle and 30 here. I don't know. I think I probably make this same exact play in future games, and if I get outplayed, I get outplayed. But uh, a tough loss, narrow loss, but this deck puts up a lot of power. And they were just able to escape with a small 13 and just barely beat us by one point left. Next up, we have Subarashi. Quicksilver down right this time. Turn two will be Agent Venom. That's not bad into Krakoa. What are the odds? Because Agent Venom sets it to four and then adds the four on top of it. So the next card I draw is going to be eight. So if that ends up being Wiccan, that is kind of nice. I wonder why they did not do the same thing. Rickete Bridge. Ooh, an eight power mystique. Yikes. Get Hope down. Maybe I just throw cards away into Rickety Bridge. If I draw into Iron Man, that's just ridiculous. I should be able to win any tiebreaker. Storm. Do I go the tiebreaker route or do I go trying to win Rickety? I will go the tiebreaker route and hope I draw into Iron Man. Wind, aid my hand. I'm probably not gonna have prior. Whoa, that is a large itty pride. Snap. Get down, Iron Man. <laughs> And this Mystique, yikes. There is no way. I want to see how I lose this game. <laughs> Should I emote right now? This is a lot of power. So of course I play Mystique middle, and then I play Cosmo right to avoid any shenanigans. And this storm flooding really put a... Yes. Victory. It caught them way off guard. They see that I'm an Agent Venom deck. They don't know that I'm a Surfer deck, but that wouldn't have come into play this game. And just with Iron Man over here, that's 816 over here. Maybe if they had their own Iron Man, it would be three because they bastard. Or maybe four if they drew into him. And you can move Jeff, you can play something else here, maybe. But be having an 8 power Mystique, oof. That's 32 middle. And then I play a Cosmo right to avoid any nonsense that they might want to do with Rickety Bridge, maybe a Legion or something. You block that. Because I might have priority. I guess that depends on if I have priority. But that last turn play is just ridiculous. And even if they play a Legion here... It's just a tie. So that was my thought process here. Again, I was super well positioned. They knew it, and that's what this snap signified. But I don't want to snap last turn. So I have to snap before my Iron Man comes down and this disgusting mystique. Okay, so there was the deck. I didn't exactly get to show off Wiccan, unfortunately. But hey, he's just a fun card in this deck. Various substitutions that you can make. Sebastian Shaw, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, you have Juggernaut. There are so many substitutions. Of course, it's a surfer deck. So just knock yourself out with whatever you want to put in there. 
Rogue is also good, good tech card. This deck does not have a tech card, but that's because we're going over the top with Iron Man and Mystique. Thank you to the members of the channel. Thanks for your support. And thank you to everybody that's made it to the end of the video. Same stuff I say all the time, but I truly appreciate it. Every time I say it, if you try out the deck, let me know how it does for you. And until next time, Brood also works, Brood also works like, <laughs> and is the first of our Silver Sur- and he is also the first of our Silver Surfer decks. Silver Surfer cards, maybe?